Yes, yes, guys, this is Nelly Last and welcome. In this video, what we'll be doing is another guys and tips video. This time, guys, we're going to be concentrating on the game of domination and playing on the map Splash Park. As you can see there, we just captured A on this particular side. Now we're going to be moving around to B. B, as you can see, is located at the top. It's not located on the center of this particular map. So there's plenty of little areas for cover, and you can just move around. The only thing we're going to be mindful of now is obviously C is on the other side of the map, on the right-hand side of the next spawn location. Now they're going to either be coming up through location number one, or location number two. Now they could be coming up from location number three, but a lot of people are going through the center. And what you're going to find is not too many people are going to be jumping through that window. So you're not really going to have to be worried about it. You're just going to have to mainly concentrate on location one or two. Now, once we get up into here, my mate is now pushed forward. Now, as soon as he dies, I know someone's got him in the line of sight, so I'm going to take him out straight away. Now, one thing I would suggest before you go jumping onto B is to jump up into here. Maybe have your um, your sights up straight away. Just watch that little bit of location. If your mate's already on it, you can jump straight back on. But once you know that you can't see anyone there, that's going to give you enough time pretty much to be able to jump on there and actually capture that particular point. Now we're going to move around to C. Now, as you can see, from B to C is that nice little open lane all the way through. We have a couple of little cart things that are going to be located in the, in the way. But this is going to be obviously the main spawn point for these kind of players. So as we come rushing here, we've got the building on the left we need to be a lot more mindful of. And also this building in the right. Now, this, that's the way through to the center which people love to be going into so just be a little bit mindful of that now this is why I tend to leave this alone because I was running with an assault rifle I didn't want to run in there and have someone with a Vesper or something like that it wasn't really worth my while so now it's time to make my way around now what you can do now is concentrate on keeping on the outside there's no need to go jumping into the center because in the center there's so many different ways for people to see you trying to latch onto you there's not much point risking dying this way you can actually just keep circulating around there's plenty of points to cover and you can move from point to point trying to capture everything as much as you possibly can and get your score streaks up now with a as you can see now with this particular one we've got the spawn point right behind a exactly where we started from but we've got to worry about location number one and location number two but now because these are pretty much straightforward that's fairly easy they could come around into location number three which is just going to be coming up now now with that one obviously you've got the water or they could be coming around from where we were before but the main points we're going to be looking at is one and two so once we come around this kind of location we could just check into that spawn don't think anyone's gonna be there we can hopefully play it a little bit safe now we're gonna come around here the guys gonna come chasing out because he knows that I'm there now as you can see point one and point two are so close together it's very very easy to cover you could drop back into there if you so wish just trying to get a little bit of point you can then advance into this kind of area now with this like I said there's so many ways to die out it's very highly con uh, congested sorry and a lot of people kind of come rushing in so once you're in this kind of area there's a lot of different ways to be getting caught out so for me in particular I would definitely strafe away from it I mean if you're running an SMG you feel a lot more confident about this kind of situation then you can go with it but personally for me it's a lot easier to control those long lines of sights on the outside of the map than what it is having to worry about things on the inside in this kind of situation because as you can see Everyone's just rushing around. It only takes someone just to catch you out. But now we're starting on this side. This is the second round. I mean, it could be the first round if you start off on this particular side. But we're going to pretty much play the same sort of scenario as before. We're going to try and use this house as cover. But for me personally, once you're playing against obviously better players, or something, what I actually play the objective is not going to be quite as easy as what it is here. But the idea is still exactly the same. You know exactly where they're going to be coming from. If you've got a vision pulse or something like that and you save it for this particular moment, it's going to help you out no end. But you know exactly where they're coming from. You're using these kind of houses. Now, as I fired upon him, everyone's going to know straight away exactly where I am. I know the enemies are going to be being spawned back down into that kind of location. So there's nothing wrong with just dropping back around, sorry, circulating around, and just, you know, just keeping a little bit mindful. But if you do want to drop into this kind of room, now a lot of people love to be sitting in here trying to camp it out, waiting for people to run past and that. But you can be caught out. You obviously got all the different tubes and everything else that can actually see you quite easily. So for me personally, I definitely stray away from it. You're going to find someone camping along there at some point and then what you're going to do is just once again just start pushing that kind of objective and as you can see guys I don't need to go into the center of the map I don't need to go into lane three there where the actual water is or anything else like that I can control the whole of the game here and then I'm just going to go on and just collect all my score streaks and this is by far the easiest way to actually play domination on this map splash part obviously it probably might be a bit harder depending on the type of players that you're playing against 
But for me, this is definitely the way to go. Because once you get your HATR up in the air, once I got my wraps, everyone started rage quitting it. And it was a very, very easy win in the end. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little guys and tips video for domination on the map Splash Park. Leave any comments in the section down below. It would be amazing to hear from you. But coming up on my screen now is my subscribe button. Make sure you jump in on that. And please, guys, smash that like button and support my channel. This is Nidhi Lassana. Catch you later.